Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are playing episode 3 of Fierce to Fathom, The Carson House. I have been counting down the days till this came out. I loved the first two. I have videos of them up on the channel from ages ago, back when I was just recording my Twitch streams. I, I, I love this. It's, it's great. For those of you that don't know, Fears to Fathom is a episodic game series, and each episode is based off of a submitted story from uh, Redditors or fans, just random people, basically. Anyone can submit. They even have a little email right there for people to submit stories on. Anyway, I'm really excited to play it. Let's just jump right in. Fears to Fathom, Episode 3, Carson House, September 24th. My name is Noah. I'm a 28-year-old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18, but I remember this incident like yesterday as the trauma dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day, he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients was going away for a few days and needed somebody he could trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a COO of a local media company. Dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Whoa. The house is a laundromat. Yo, I'm getting like some flashbacks to blood wash here. God, that's a good game. Is that as a mini game doing laundry? Oh, hell yeah. Okay, we're going. <gasps> oh, this is some matrix shit. Whoa. It's the fuck did my game crash? Oh. Trippy. Morpheus. Instead of an endless subway tunnel, I seem to be in an endless hall of washers. Doing laundry for eternity, powering the machines. This seems to be my destiny as the one. That's a lot of fucking bugs. Shift to sprint. Why? Wait, what am I going to be running from? I don't like this. That is some creepy ass music too. Uh... Oh, bleach? Uh, excuse me. Where did you put it? Uh, what is this place? Where is bleach? I need bleach. What? What even is this place? Who are you? I said I need bleach. Noah? Noah? Nap time's over. We're here. We're here, you said. You could go. Oh, okay. So, wake up now. Okay, so it's, it, this is a dream. No, wake up. I'm gonna wake up. Cool. cool, cool. I, I've hit the dot 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 like five times. No, just fucking wake up. I'm getting annoyed at Noah now, too. All right, here we go. You still think you can do this? How long did I doze off for? Doesn't matter. Can you do this now? I got this. Roy called and said the key should be under the fake rock. Got it. He said it's in the backyard. All right. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you the first time, Dad. Okay, now get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm only in for the snacks. Want me some ho hos, you know? Some Doritos, too. Just a junk food fiesta. Bye, Dad. I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen to him at all, or to me. Nothing bad at all. All right, let's find this fake rock. Are you? Nope, that is not you. That is a texture. That's a pool. Uh, what is that? Oh <gasps> no! It's a puppy! Oh my god! Oh, I love this game already. I can pet a puppy. Beautiful. Ten out of ten. All right, now where's that fake rock? Is that it? Hell yeah. Why is the game music so fucking creepy? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. This is not a bad house. I had to pee. Damn. I'm on an important mission to find the bathroom. That is the outside. 
I'm not pissing outside like an animal. Do not disturb for any reason. I'm sure that's nothing spooky. I'm not peeing down there. That's a murder basement. Is this? Ah, here we go. Oh, cool. Put the seat up, yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, sorry that uh, Fears to Fathom took so long for us to develop with episode three. We really had to get the physics of the pee stream just right, you know? Petting the dog, we couldn't animate a hand for that or anything, but the pee stream, it's important to the narrative. Did I just put the, the seat down after the lid? Okay. Wow, they're gonna make me look at a piss stream then not even let me wash my hands? What? Grossness. You disgust me. Go on. Thanks for taking up the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry I had to leave early. Mr. Carson? My bad, it's Roy. Got this contact from Walter. Work is really getting the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Ha ha. He's my dad. Cool. But look at the kitty. There's a kitty and a pupper. A kitty and a pupper. A smoke and a pancake. I need to look up what that says before I say it too much. I just watched Austin Powers 3 the other day. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? Is that the do not disturb room? Is there like a... Boy's been a little sick lately. Oh no, is there like some like monster child in there? Am I gonna get murdered by the COO's like evil monster child? Do I want to disturb? Nah, probably not. I'll take care of him in the house now that I'm here. You have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. You're a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of him, I want to remind you it's his dinner time. If you could get him his dog food from the basement, right on it. Okay, so it's the dog. Zeke's the dog. Cool. So the do not disturb room is a little sus. Where's that murder basement? Because I think that's what he's talking about. Nope, that's... This is a green screen room. Not what I want to be in. Oh, wait, is that? Oh, that's the do not disturb room. All right, so it's like a no filming sign. Cool. OK, here's the murder basement. The basement was a little too dark. Well, fuck me, I guess. Almost forgot. I apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room upstairs. It's no problem. Sweet. The sound design in this game is so creepy. Like, I'm, pr it's probably gonna be turned down pretty low just so y'all can hear me, but there's just so many creepy noises for no reason. And it's so unsettling. I realized the house was way bigger than ours. That's cool, kid. All right, where's the flashlight? Oh, right. It's the window mechanics from the first game. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, I got the flashlight. I can throw it too. If anyone tries to fuck with Zeke, I'll protect him. Don't get between a man and his friend's pupper. I have a duty to watch this house and that pupper, and I'm gonna protect them both. Is that the food? Yeah, that's the food, cool. Let's go. Come here, boy. Zeke? Where, where is Zeke? Oh no. I had to open the can. God damn it. Y'all really gonna make me do all the steps? Is that the dog? Is he okay? Oh, he's just sleeping. Probably just taking a nap. Such a good boy. Y'all really gonna make me do every step of opening the can. But I can't. Wa oh, shit. Well, there goes the food. He won't mind. He's a dog. They eat their own vomit. God, why is it so loud and creepy out here? Yeah, y'all maybe do every step of opening a can of dog food, but wouldn't let me wash my hands after the piss stream. Disgusting. Cool. Oh, what's with the scary music? Zeke. Zeke! Zeke, come on, boy. Come on, boy. Why is the music so creepy? Why is the music creepy? It's just a dog walking to his food. What What's going on here? Boy, food over here. Go, faster, please. God, this is the slowest dog. I know you're sick, buddy, but come on. Come on. Oh shit, nope, I, I need that. Eat your fucking food. There we go. Let's go back inside. I don't want to get murdered, and I feel like I'm fucking going to. Hey kid, heard from Walter you're a computer whiz, huh? I have a favor to ask. My computer's been acting weird lately and my whole security system is tied to it. Oh yeah, you got a whole security system set up here? 
cool. Cool, cool, okay. Oh, this is this is gonna get freaky any second. I'm waiting for it. Have a lot of expensive equipment laying around. Don't want anything happening to it. Someone's gonna try to break in and steal the equipment, and I'm just gonna be here, a helpless victim, and Zeke is sick, so he can't even protect me. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yeah, I understand. I'll just take a look at your computer. Where's the computer? Where is it? What's well, in this room? That's another bathroom. Lovely, lovely. Oh, no. One of the things I'm not looking forward to is there's a thing in the last episode where it detected your mic noise. And back then, I didn't have it set up right. So I could still talk. I could say where the fuck I wanted. I have it set up right now where my actual mic I'm using is my default mic for my computer. So, whenever that shit happens this time, since it's set in theme, that's a requirement for the game, is it's gonna want access to my microphone. Uh, I'm really fucked. Oh, here's a computer. All right, Mr. Carson's office looked like a good spot I could sit down to work at. Cool, but wait, I'm, so, I'm supposed to be working on his computer, I thought. A-L-E Carson 5387. Do I actually need to type it? Oh. 5387. Five, okay. Hell yeah. This is some like Windows XP shit. This is 10. Why is this guy's thing on here? Yes, the flag.exe. Is this a fucking oh system encounter a critical error, okay. System has encountered critical error. Search. Oh. Oh no. Help. What happens I click it? Oh, yeah, totally. This is totally real. Wants me to click it. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's put a fucking virus on this guy's computer. Yeah, what could go wrong? Perform full scan. Cool. Oh, wait. So he just went and downloaded an actual antivirus. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Wait. Why is everything like 96 like old times? I thought this kid was 28 and this happened when he was like 18. So wouldn't that make that like. 2013? Oh. Oh, there's a Trojan horse. Remove. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I'm about to trigger something bad. Oh, no. Close. You're protected. Virus. Okay, cool. Cool. All right. What country is this flag? Uh, Andorra. Ah. Uzbekistan, my bad. Uh, Zambia, let's say. Yeah. All right, it's done. It was just some Trojan. I'd recommend you only download softwares from trust websites. Tell that to my kid, but thanks. I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. Hell yeah. Uh oh. Oh, fuck. Evelyn Cooper. Okay, now she's replying to me. Ooh, what was it about? Weird reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on Channel 10 last night. By the way, the rerun must be on right now. You gotta watch it with me. Wait, that place got TV? Haha, ha, yeah, hold on. Oh, something bad's about to happen, isn't it? Let's close this, close this, close this. Oh, no. Oh, some shit's gonna go down, isn't it? Oh, oh look at Zeke. He's still just eating there like a good boy. We love Zeke. Oh. Oh, this game is freaking me the fuck out. Nothing wrong's even happened yet. Oh, my anxiety is just through the roof. It's a fucking video game. Nothing can hurt me. It's just a game. But like, oh, there's like a pit in my stomach just playing this. <laughs> oh, all right, time to watch some TV. What could possibly go wrong? The fuck? I'm Jeffrey. It's Hi, Jeffrey. America. Okay, now, wow, that's good. Jeffrey really just be Jeffrey sometimes. 
<laughs> that is that is the most like realistic dialogue I've ever heard about weird meme shit. Tell that to my kid. All right. Also, you should get the groceries before it gets too dark outside. There's some cash in my nightstand. Oh, I'm on it, Mr. Carson. Oh no, it's making me go outside. Mr. Carson's bedroom has this weird smell of wet clothes. Oh God, I hate these ads. What ads are you talking about? Oh, uh, why did the music get creepy? Rise of the cash. All right. So where's the grocery store? The hand mer merchant. Okay, I'll turn you off. Don't need extra sound. I'm. Okay, what? You can take Alex's bike. It's outside the garage. Cool. Totally not gonna die walking to the bike. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Nothing. All right. Let's stranger things this shit. Oh, 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 we can actually drive the bike. Oh, oh boy. Okay, this is like the car in the in the, in the the last one. Okay. Oh, it actually kind of rides like a bike too. Where is the grocery store? Whee! I have no more fucks to give. My fucks have runneth dry. I tried to go fuck shopping, but there's no fucks left to buy. I know do 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 scoot. 9.22 p.m. Did my bike fucking crash? All right, let's look around. Nothing too creepy. Oh, that's a car. Woo! This game almost just ended very prematurely. Okay, cool. It's going to stop the bike right here. Uh, I'm going to get some groceries. All right, do I get a, a basket? Cool. Ranch, strawberry jelly, choco spread for Alec, milk and eggs. Is this some choco cops? Uh, is that on the list? No, don't forget milk and eggs. Milk and eggs, ketchup, rice, Uncle Tony's only. Okay. And speak of the devil, Turner and Andy? Bro, your girl was here. She just left. My girl? What was her name? Kara or something. What? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh, yeah. He hopped to the other chick so quick I didn't even... Re oh, no. No. Is this going to be not like another gel sex game like Crimson Snow? Oh, no. Don't. Listen to him. But, dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. It's so close up and awkward framing. Uh... I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know, anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. Milf energy, bro. Ew, I think she's more of like a goth. Are you guys done? <laughs> Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? House sitting for this guy, Carson, tonight. You mean Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Heard kid's a real weirdo, especially since his parents split up. Yeah, you guys have fun. All right, dude. See you at school Monday then. Exit. Yeah. Bye, weirdos. I need to get some milk and eggs. Are you eggs? That's more soda. Oh, eggs. Oh, God. The way just tosses it in the basket. Oh, there's physics. Oh, boy. Oh, this game's so full. I have too much ketchup as well. Oh, garden peas. Hell yeah. Oh, and then... Okay, that, sh that should be it. That should be it. Oh. Oh. This is a ridiculous pile of shit. I feel like Cindy Lou Who in that scene in Grinch where she's carrying all the presents and can't even see. Thanks for shopping at Nux. You have a good one. Thanks, buddy. Not creepy at all. Going back home on my little bicycle. Ding ding. Ah, it doesn't have a little ding ding on it. I had to pee again. I was starting to feel a little hungry around that time. Oh my god. Just get the bike up on the fucking curb. It's a lot of schoolwork to catch up on. Is this the right house? I going. Oh no, this isn't the right house. That's why. That's why. <laughs> I almost just broke into the wrong house. Where is the right house? Oh, come on. I have to pee again, apparently. Let's go. Yeah, this is the right house. Oh god, what's gonna be wrong? I feel like I'm gonna get in and something awful will have happened. Oh, you're not ominous at all. Then again, it's just a street. Oh shit, how do I shut this door? I don't want to pick up groceries. I thought I'd get some schoolwork done. Cool, wait, I thought I had to pee again. Ah, more pissing physics. Oh god, it's getting everywhere. Dude, aim better. God. 
Disgusting. Oh wait. Oh I oh I control it. Oh my god. <gasps> Why the fuck is this a thing? Oh dude, you said Jared Carson's right. You need to see this. Search Roy Carson divorce on the internet right now. What? Do I do I really want to do this in his in his search history? Okay. Carson, co-founder of BN Media, claims to be receiving death threats from the angry fans of his ex-wife. Oh dear lord. Roy Carson, co-founder of BN Media, allegedly receiving death threats from the angry fans of his ex-wife. Yep. Yep. Hunter News, it's not unusual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO and co-founder of BN Media. After his very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alyssa Brown for the rumored infidelity that underwent within the sad relationship. Sources say Roy Carson has had people knocking on his door. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I heard the doorbell ring. Someone is at the front door. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's pizza? I didn't order pizza. <sighs> Fuck it. You know what? You only live once. Who is it? Your delivery for your one medium size from Pizza Depot, sir? I didn't order any pizza. Your one medium size pepperoni pizza, sir. You must be at the wrong address. This is 224 Boulevard, right? That's correct. It's ordered by the name of, um, Roy Carson. Nope. I don't like that one bit. I didn't order pizza. Did Roy order a pizza for me? If he did, that's sweet. And this is just one big misunderstanding for the real scare start. Should we just open the door, see what happens? Maybe he ordered a pizza for me. Maybe... <sighs> Maybe this is his way of saying thanks. Who fucking knows? Let's just die. Do you want me to cancel the order? Okay, so I have to open it. And then die. Here, take. <sighs> oh, I'm about to die. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but do you think I can wait inside until the rain's over? I'm not sure my dad would like that. He's upstairs. Probably not very soon. Oh. I understand. Well, you have a good day. Oh boy. Is he gone? Thank God. Spooks. Brought to you by Channel 10. Fun. Don't like any of this. You look creepy. Is that the same guy from Crimson Snow? Oh, it's the show. Rick Carson. Look out for some pizzas. It should arrive any minute now. Enjoy. Oh, I feel like a dick now. I feel like a dick. The pizza guy, it was real. Oh, I feel like such a fucking cock back now. Oh, okay, let's sit and watch TV. See what happens. Oh, I feel like such a dick. I could let the guy in, but I was being all scared. I did the right thing, but like, I get it. He's like, hey, could I wait? It's raining. It is raining really bad outside. Oh, uh, God damn it. I'm going to feel bad about this for all fucking day now. Ooh. <laughs> this is like some bowling alley animation shit on here. I have no idea what I'm looking at, but all right. This was nice and hot despite the rain. Hope everything's OK. Sorry, I got caught up with work. Good night, Eve, sweet dreams, heart. Okay, so could it be his ex-girlfriend's about to get him? Could it be that this guy's ex-wife's fans are here? What's gonna go wrong? There's so many things that could go wrong. Even the, the son is a fucking weirdo, apparently. Uh, okay, only two slices of pizza left. All right. Yes. Hi there. My name is Flora. It, is, it seems that. Okay. I don't want to open it. Who is it? I'm going to go check the cameras. Oh, what's on the front porch? Am I going to die if I open it? 
Oh, should I go down and open it? I should go down and open it, you know? Live fearlessly. You're wearing a goddamn Top Gun Volleyball Champion t-shirt, Brandon. You need to live like one. Who is it? I won't ask again. I'm about to die. That's creepy. Didn't know what to make of it. Oh boy, you're about to die, kiddo. You're about to... How... Hey, how are you? What did you have for dinner? No... Uh... Eat my sweaty ass crap. Assumed it was a wrong number. Let's go. It was strange, but I dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence and moved on. How did they get my number? It has to be his ex-girlfriend. It has to be. Right? Right? I can, no, that's all it could be. Mm, engrossment. Yes, yes. I am I'm in so engrossed in this homework right now. Yes. Growing smarter by the minute. 1.36 a.m. What is the beeping? While I was in the middle of my score, the power went off. Oh no. Are you by yourself? Why are you keeping army? Why are you always so mean to me? You are being very mature now. Fine, if you're gonna be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Who are you? Oh. Oh boy. Uh, uh, 911. I'd call 911 fucking one. Oh god, it's definitely some creepy bitch. It's his ex. It has to be his ex. Who else would have his number? Some random fan is gonna have the number of the random kid that's house sitting him. Ugh. Oh no 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 no. Uh Um, I'm gonna say That's not North Korea. Is it North Korea? Oh it is North Korea. Cool. Cool. What is this? Uh let's say Estonia. Ah, oh, Slovenia, okay. Oh, this is Australia, right? Yeah! Yeah, ooh. Ooh, I like that flag. Vanuatu, oh, Lebanon. That's a cool flag. I don't know my flags that well. Uh, it's not New Zealand. Ah, oh, it's Kuwait, got it. What country is this flag? Ah, Cyprus. Oh, 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 I, I, oh, is it Egypt? No, it's Yugoslavia. God damn it, Yakko Warner would be so disappointed in me right now. Time to go get fucking scared. United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Republic, Dominican, Cuba, Caribbean, Greenland, El Salvador, too, Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guyana, and still, Guatemala, Bolivia, then Argentina, and Ecuador, Chile, Brazil, Costa Rica. Oh, I'm gonna have to hide in here later. That's the quiet mic thing. Oh, baby. Okay, so I can talk like this, and my thing will still pick it up, but this won't really do enough. Okay, so I can still whisper. Oh, okay. Content creation can continue in there. Cool. Good to know. All right. It was suddenly very cold outside. What are you barking at, buddy? What you... Zeke was acting very weird. Oh, boy. Oh no, something's going wrong. Okay. I turned the power back on. Oh, I'm gonna fucking die. Oh, she's in the house now, isn't she? I could tell that someone had cut the power off from outside. Which means that now that I've run out, they're in there. Had to be Turner. He was really starting to piss me off now. Oh no. You said we'd stay friends. Oh, it is his ex. God damn it. Oh boy. Turn is not funny. I know it's you. It's 120% his ex. I'm gonna go do my fucking homework. Fuck you all. Gotta get back to my schoolwork for Monday. <sighs> Engrossment. All right. Let's keep going. See what happens. What a strange gut feeling about the situation. Yeah, someone's in the fucking house, dude. It might sound stupid now, but I just didn't want to overthink things. Yep, there it is. Where, where's the person that you're seeing? Okay. Let's do more homework. I'm not gonna worry about it. She kills me, she kills me. It's fine. Oh, God. I just heard a noise. I right. I 
heard something downstairs. No. No, 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 no. I just saw her. I could have swear on my life I didn't turn that oven on. <gasps> I see them outside. I saw that. I saw that shit. Oh. Oh, you think you're so clever, bitch. I saw you. All right. I had to go down and check. Yep. So she got in the house, turned the oven on, and left. I, that's some Sims behavior, but cool. So it's definitely his fucking ex. Cool. Close this fucking door. Oh, I'm so going to die. I'm so going to fucking die. Loki made me very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. Yeah. I had to confront him. Didn't have his contact. I could only ask Andy. Can you send me Turner's contact? Ask him to quit messing. Cool. All right, come on. Andy Reynolds. Uh, what? He's been snooping around the house. This is not cool. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, no, no, no. Dude, he's at my place. <sighs> yes, it's not Turner. Oh. We were going to go to the movies with Brady, but then it started pouring, so we stuck with the sleepover. Oh, boy. Oh, last thing you think of at the time was to keep an eye on security monitor. Oh, come on. Give me this door open so I can run in there. Oh, boy. Now that I think about it, I should have called the cops. Yeah, you fucking should have, buddy. By the time I was so engrossed in my own thoughts that... The idea never entered my head. Oh, I did not open that door. Yep, she's in. Do you wait to check out that article? It was Brady who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. Oh. Okay, I don't know what to do. Do I just go hide now? The door's fucking open. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I need to hide. I, I need to hide. I need to fucking hide right now. Oh, I don't want to die. I really don't want to fucking die. So, any second. aren't helping oh boy yeah i hear you i hear you bitch i'm just waiting and hoping that the game continues So what did it want me to do there? I was just a sitting fucking duck. Oh, 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 it scared me so bad. I got a cramp in my thigh. One second. Oh, oh no. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay, I need a minute. So what am I supposed to do to not die there? Cause like nothing was fucking happening. I was hiding like it told me to, but we're gonna give this another shot. We're gonna see, I, I need to beat this fucking game. Turn the power back on. Yep. Cool. Is it bad that like my mind is like, what if she's just bare? It's just it's just a teenage girl and a teenage guy. Like, yeah, it's scary to be assaulted in any way. But like, dude, she didn't have a knife or anything. Just fucking fight back. Just turn it into a full on Rocky Four situation. Just beat the shit out of each other. Like, it's not a horror villain that you can't possibly beat in a physical fight. It just it's a fight. I know she probably has the intent to kill him, but like, I don't know. It's just once I know now, oh, it's his ex that he broke up with and things didn't end well. It's less creepy and more just. Eh. Oh, she does have a knife. Oh, no. 
Oh, no, 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 no. So what am I supposed to do here? It's going to tell me when to do something. That's kind of how this game works. Okay. Cool. So I'm just going to watch her, I guess. at the door to the room I was in. Cool. Tell me what to do. I thought my heart would pound right out my chest. This happened between us, we can work it out together. Dot dot dot. Don't play fucking dumb with me, Noah. I know you're in there. Open the door. We just need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. I've always been nothing but nice to you. But you always treated me like shit. I know everything. I know you left me for her. At least she's not junkie. Oh, she's a fucking junkie. Oh god, she got the meth strength and a knife. Okay, I take back my earlier statement. This de this guy is fucked. But I love you, what about that? We, need to leave. we deserve a second chance. Now I can turn you into the police for this. Do it and I will fucking kill both of them. Now it's quick time. time they arrived she had already left the house but I knew where she lived <gasps> Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site she was three years older than me but I found her cute so we started dating okay however two months into our relationship she started doing meth great <laughs> tried to get her help but she turned around on me as if I was trying to change her one day I had enough I had to break up with her I told her to leave and never contact me again she was pissed she was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night, but of course the cop wasn't buying it. They reviewed the footage and it showed everything, from the point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. Cool. But the thing that messed with me the most was the fact that, that nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily under the influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. So... That was... <sighs> a game? I'm gonna be honest, it's kind of a disappointment. Uh, I really enjoyed the first two. Like, really enjoyed the first two. The first one's very simple and quick and gets to the point of, like, a home invasion and having to last until the cops arrive and all these creepy little things and them being in the house. The second one has all this stuff about like the, the car breaking down in the middle of nowhere and all this really cool shit. And then this one just kind of feels like a shitty version of the first one, honestly, with a couple extra little things added in. There's... <sighs> yeah, no, I, I wanted to enjoy this a lot more. Uh, I feel like th this just wasn't the right story for them to do. Another home invasion one doesn't really work i feel like they should have tried something else i don't know what but uh yeah uh well i hope you enjoyed this uh i enjoyed a lot of the game i just wish it kind of went somewhere further than just being a slightly more advanced version of the first one i really hope that when they do fears to fathom episode four that it's not just 
a, a, like a rehash of one of the first two ones. Like, I want something original and cool and new because that's kind of what was making this so cool was it was like, oh, episodic stuff. Each one's totally different. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I'm posting a lot lately. I'm really enjoying this, and we just hit 200 subscribers, which is awesome. It's not like a huge milestone or anything, but it's awesome to just see that number continuously going up. And if you want to be a part of that and kind of help by uh, leaving likes and comments or subscribing, anything, it really helps a lot, and it really means a lot to me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and take care.